All right, here we go. Hi everyone, I am Marty Daly with Smoke For You and I wanna to talk to you today about feeling stuck. Do you ever feel stuck? I mean, stuck between wanting to quit smoking or chewing tobacco, but you're putting off doing anything about it? It's not that you don't wanna quit, I mean you do, but the timing is never quite right. Or you're researching new ways to quit that you haven't tried before, or you're planning out how you're gonna do it, or maybe you set a date, but when that day comes, something more important just pops up in your life and you put it off again and you just tell yourself, well, maybe uh, I'll get to it someday. I mean, I sure have. I mean, just like you, I have things in my life that I want to accomplish. And just this week, um, I had something happen that was pretty extraordinary, which made me think I wanted to share this with uh, this topic today. Um, there's been some stuff in my life that I have been afraid of for 10 years. It's been holding me back, probably even longer than that, but it's really, I've been struggling with for 10 years. I just knew something I had to do to achieve the goal that I wanted to achieve, and I just couldn't do it until this week, and I finally got myself unstuck, and it's the most amazing feeling, so I just wanted to, to talk to you guys about um, also being unstuck, in case you're stuck with the goal of wanting to stop smoking, but you just can't. I heard recently, and I really believe that it's true, that these things, that task that we're putting off doing the most, the one that we just can't seem to get past, so we put it off and put it off and put it off, that thing, is the most important thing we need to do to reach our goal. And I'm sad to say that for me, there have been some great achievements that I probably could have achieved that I missed out on just because I could not break through and face that major task that, I, that was holding me back that could have made all the difference. So I gave up. Do you know why I couldn't face that task that was so important? It's the same reason that you're feeling stuck right now with quitting smoking or tobacco. And here's what it is. It's fear. Yeah, even though it sounds crazy. I mean, how can anybody be afraid of quitting smoking? You've been wishing for this maybe for your whole life. In fact, you probably think you're more afraid of the consequences if you don't quit. But hear me out for a minute. Fear is a powerful motivator. You've probably heard that if you have to decide that the pain of your current situation is unbearable before you can make a change. And that's very true. An internal shift happens where staying where you are for one more moment just feels like torture. We feel it when we change jobs or maybe we want to make a, a change in our eating habits, sometimes in our relationships. And for many of my clients, that moment comes when they're diagnosed with something like COPD or they finally have to be put on oxygen or when they're climbing a flight of stairs and they have trouble making it to the top because they can't breathe anymore. They understand that they can no longer stay where they are and they make a move. But there is another fear that they face and that a lot of people face as well that is just as strong, if not stronger, than the fear of what may happen if they don't stop. And that is the fear of the unknown. It's a big scary question mark. What does the absence of pain feel like? The devil you know is better than the one that you don't. Now I'm going to compare this, um, since it's Friday afternoon and I'm thinking about dinner, I'm going to compare this to going out to a restaurant. So let's pretend that you live in a very small community where there is just one restaurant. You've eaten there year after year after year for decades. You know the cook, you know the staff, the menu never changes. However, you've noticed that the last few years, it's kind of, the restaurant's kind of gone downhill. The food doesn't taste as good. Sometimes it's just plain gross. The dining room is old and dirty. Sometimes the service is bad. But you keep going there because it's all that you know. But a new restaurant opens up in one, one town over. It's a different style of food that you've never tried before, but you've heard things, good things about it. However, you're not sure it's good enough to make that far of a drive. What if you don't like it? What if it's not as good as the hype? Then you've wasted the money and gas and time to get there. You know, it's probably just safer just to go to that same old restaurant that you've always gone to, that same old familiar place. And if you think of it, that's probably how you feel about quitting smoking or chewing tobacco. It's not as good as it used to be. And you start feeling like you should try something different, but you don't know what to expect from a life without it. It's always been there. I mean, what if it's harder? What if it's not all that it's cracked up to be? What if you really miss parts of it? 
and then you'd have to put all that time and money and effort into quitting. It's kind of scary, isn't it? I mean, you already know what the smoking or tobacco life is like. And even though you may not be enjoying it that much anymore, there is comfort in the familiar. And although you really want to live tobacco free, the fear of the unknown is keeping you stuck where you are. But what would it be like if you could maybe just sample the offerings of that restaurant in that new town, that new restaurant in that new town? You could get a taste of everything on the menu, so you could experience how good it might